Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. This is your moment, own it. Gave it everything you had and now you've done it. You want it. No one can ever take it back from you. So live it up, soak it in. Spread your wings and ride the wind. You earned it, you deserve it. We all know it. And this is your moment. Welcome to the Rock Review. You may know him as one of the stars on Last Man Standing, and obviously a lot of movies, TV. You know, I remember seeing you in Little Rascals when you were seven. <laughs> A while back, a little while <laughs> but ago. But now you've got an album out. Yes, sir, right you know, here. Right self-titled, Jet Jurgens Meyer right here. And that is the new uh, release uh, single you have out. Yes, It has a video also. This is your moment. It's, it's great stuff. You know, you and I were talking before we came in studio, Jet, to where what I like about your album and all of your songs that have come out is uh, very positive. Yes, sir. That's, that's one thing. My thing is I like to make people smile. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, sometimes you have to make them cry in order to through the songs, right. you know, but then in the end you want them to smile. So that's one thing I like through Last Man Standing. It's a yeah. comedy. I get to make people laugh as well as my music. That's why I like being so positive. Well, and I think it's incredible, too, that you've only been playing guitar, like really focusing on it since you were 10 years old. Yes, sir. And you play. You even know the Nashville number system. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which oh, is well, amazing. Well, I mean, I am from Nashville. Right. So if I don't know that, it might be. You're a local. Yes, sir. Born yeah. and raised. Which is incredible. And then you spend your time, you bounce between California and obviously Missouri, where Missouri. your dad's family is at. Yes, sir. And uh, you got a lot of stuff going. <laughs> Thank you. You know, and, and also in your spare time, you're a purple belt with Kimpo Karate. In Kimpo Karate, yes, sir. I started when I was, I don't even know how little I was. I was really little when I started. I have a friend here in Nashville who's a black belt. Yeah. And he just started teaching me. So when do you find, and then also, you and your dad are working with ham radios Yes, now? sir. We have our ham radio license. That's another one of our hobbies, which is kind of <laughs> one that not a lot of people know about if you don't, like, follow my social media or right. anything. So that is that's, huge. That's, that's one thing that is a lot of fun. I've been able to talk to so many people across the country. I actually right. talked to somebody in Franklin from California. Wow. So that was really cool. That is amazing, you know, and, and also, you know, you ride horses, you do, so, you're, you're like a man of mystery, <laughs> you know, you. between your acting like and, your, and your music and playing the bluebird and, and uh, you know, opening up for baseball games and stuff. That was fun. That's that ridiculous. Was, we had jerseys. It was my uncle and I, he was my guitar player. That was so crazy. You walk out there and you just see all these people looking right at you. Wow. Blasting your music through the entire stadium. And you got to attend Summer Nam. I did. That was really cool. Got to play I, a few guitars. I almost cost my parents a lot of money walking <laughs> through there. That was almost a bad day. Well, you know, I, I think you and I are going to have to hang out, maybe go to Winter Nam together. You know, I'm thinking Anaheim. so too. That's what, that's what I'm be, thinking. Stop yeah. by. Stop yeah, by and say stop hi. Stop by. Maybe, maybe yeah. just like this nice maybe, Martin. Yeah, you know. maybe, I'll, maybe you'll see me playing one of these. <laughs> I think it's so incredible with your song choice we were talking about, Thank you. you know, and, and, you know, the choice of songs and the videos, you know, I watched all the videos, you have so many views oh, on your you. videos and your website, I really felt like an underachiever when I went to your website. <laughs> I'm like going, look at all this stuff that Jet's done. Well, He's 14. It's one thing, I, a lot of people ask me, how did you get into this or why are you so big into it? It's because I, I, I'm passionate about it. Right. It's what I love. I think that's one thing that a lot of people kind of make mistakes about in life is you have to be passionate about what you're doing and that's why I'm so blessed that I'm able to do what I love every day. Well you know and, and it seems to me too Jet you know through the songs and through your acting through everything you've done you're having fun and, and I think that shows through like in the videos I can tell you're having fun with them it's man. It's so cool uh, and this is your moment when <laughs> yeah. we climbed on top of this mountain that was Awesome. That mountain shot was ridiculous. It, it I got to tell our so viewers, cool. go to his website, go to his YouTube you. channel, check that out. But yeah, when you're standing on the mountain. And I, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of heights, even though I fly like three times a week. Right. Well, I thought <laughs> you were doing a lot better than it me. It was really like going, cool, I'd though, be holding going up that there. rock behind me. It was so cool. <laughs> climbing up there. I love rock climbing, so to kind of do that in a music video in yeah. a way. That was kind of fun. Well, and I think that's what you've done really well, too, Jet, to where you've kind of combined all of your passions. And it's nice, too, that, you know, your parents are involved with it, too. It, you, you're very grounded. But Thank it's you. like, you know, like I told you earlier, it's like when you came in, it's like brought in the guitar. And it's like, well, yeah, this is the guitar I'm playing. I'm like, is that the one from the videos? It's like, yeah. yeah. And it's like... You play very well. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and you're still writing all the time? Yes, sir. I actually, on the album, there's a song called Say Goodbye that mm -hmm. I wrote with Olivia McKenna. 
I was in California, she was here in Nashville, and we wrote it over FaceTime in one day. How amazing Which is pretty is cool. That? It was only it's only the second song that we've ever written together. You are so Nashville. You know, that's so, I mean, with the whole songwriting thing, it's like you're, you're writing, you know, over a computer and everything, and it's like, that is incredible. I like it. I, I think it's really cool. I, I enjoy being able to just kind of kind of relax when you're in a writing session, if right. you know what I mean. Kind of, you don't have to worry about anything. You can kind of mess around on your guitar. Well, you know, I think also, you know, with the songs, too, as we were talking about, which, I mean, there's so many great ones on here. A Lot More Love, Real World, Everything Will Be All Right. But, you know, it, it, you're also kind of burying your soul. You're kind of showing the world, okay, this is the real jet right that's, here through your song. That's me. That's, that's me. It's, it's, it, I love, like we said earlier, it's all positivity. Right. I'm a very positive person. <laughs> it shows. And, and I think also that, you know, your fans and everything, the Jetpack, have to be pretty thrilled about that, too, when you come out and do shows. <laughs> yes, sir. And so, so you're signing autographed copies and all? You know, I got it. Yes, sir. So I got to say, when I was in Green Bay opening for Gretchen Wilson just about a week ago, that was insane at the Outagamie <laughs> County Fair. There were so many people there. It was all right in front of me, just standing right in front of me, just a sea of people. And I was expecting there to, you know, not, that, not be that many people yeah. there in the ver for the first person to play. There, that, that's, that was how many people were going to be there for the rest of the night. It was so cool. They were so loud. Y'all are the best. That was, that was insane. So did you, like, go out to the table then and do, like, you know, autograph signings? I did that? that right before the show. So I did cool. that. And I did go out and, like, watch Jesse G and Gretchen out yeah. in the crowd. So I was taking pictures. So do you feel like, like at a point now to where your fans are getting to know you more for your music than your acting? Um, I would say it's a good mix. Yeah. I would say it's about 50-50. I do obviously want to... A lot of people don't realize that I do acting, and a lot of people don't realize I do music. Last it's year, like I was, two different worlds. Exactly. Last year, I was in Baltimore, and I played at the Back to School thing, Girls Fashion Bash yeah. in Baltimore. And a lot of the girls there didn't know that I was an actor. So it was kind of interesting to tell them, well, I'm also in this. And then they realized what I was in, and they had watched that. Yeah. So they had to, like, put two and two together. So I, I think it's, it's kind of cool to have two different... I think it's, it's brilliant, too, because then you can still, like, walk around Nashville, you know, out in L.A., whatever, and you're not being hounded all the time. True. You That's know, you true. can still sort of go under the radar. <laughs> and so if you're going, hypothetically, to a guitar shop or something, and you walk in, they're not going to go, oh, you're that star. We need to double this price. It's like, no, I'm just some little kid. Can I play that guitar? Yeah. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I just, I don't play guitar at all. Can I have this yeah, one? Yeah. Can, can I try out that one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, i got to ask you, too, you know, with the new album out, obviously it's the singles keep rolling out. Are you already working on the next album? Yes, sir. I'm trying to continue to write. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to have more songs I've written on the album. Well, you know, and I think also it comes down to, you know, like you and I talked about before we came in studio, um, it's also song selection. You know, you look at how many big stars, Johnny Cash and so many of them, to where they played a lot of people's other songs, too. They didn't do bad. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> and and your song you know selection, right. and also that you make them your own, which I think you do through how you play and sing them. Your voice sounds incredible, and the music videos. Thank you. And so were, are there going to be more singles and music videos rolling out this fall? Oh, that's a possibility. It might be a little bit later, but that's definitely a possibility. You're juggling a lot. It's fun. <laughs> I, I like it. I like, I like staying busy. When I'm not busy, I don't really know what to do. Well, obviously, between, you know, karate and horses and ham radio school. And, and school. Well, you're still in school. <laughs> and, and writing hit songs, you know, and playing guitar all the time and doing co-writes with California. All the way across country. <laughs> that was, that's really fun because that's really like the only way I've ever written was through FaceTime. Yeah. Well, especially when you're traveling all the time. Well, I want to make sure our viewers know, uh, with your website, your social media, everything else, Jet, where should they go to find and, and buy music? And you, can, you? you can get my album anywhere that you can buy or listen to music. Jet Jurgensmeyer, Jet with one T. Uh, you can follow me on all social media, Jet Jurgensmeyer as well. My YouTube channel, please go subscribe and like. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think plenty of people have because you have like thousands and thousands of oh, views on those music videos. So you got to keep cranking them out. Yes, sir. Might be another mountain. Might be. <laughs> let's let's have or, another. Or you have there. the whole ham radio song. Oh, that see, would be see where cool. I went there? Yeah, I was, 
Yeah. I like it. I'm just saying. You know, I think you should be in my music video and we climb a mountain together. There we go. And I'll stand back and take the picture while I'm holding onto a yeah, tree. Yeah, there we go. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be great. It'll be great. We'll have your mom and dad there. Well, I'll tell you what. You definitely want to get a copy and, and uh, download the, si the single. However you take in music, I think you're going to love this young man's music. Jet Jurgensmeyer. It is his debut album, but I think we're going to hear a lot more from him. Also, catch him on hit TV shows, more movies. He came out in a new movie this uh, summer as well. The Legend of Five Mile Cave. That's right. On INSP Network. Wow. Last Man Standing. We start up filming in a few weeks. Right. And we're going to be starting airing in January on Thursday nights. There you go. So be sure to set your DVD Right here on Fox that. 17 as well, just like Jed is right now. Pick up the album, get the single. Also, uh, follow him on social media and all that so you can go see him live because he may be back here at the Bluebird also. Jed Jurgensmeyer, thanks for watching The Rock and Review. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.